Let's get it on. We've got what a matchup. I get to have a Tinker as well. I'm very happy about that one. I actually really enjoy Tinker. I love this like global maneuver and just combination. <laughs> They're watching. They're watching this mid very, very closely too. Bottom lane, a lot of trouble for S4, trying to retreat. Koro, Miracle, and GH all together under the tower. S4 cannot tank through this Miracle. They'll spill the first blood. I don't think they'll Mind get controls. both of them. Mind Control's oh, even taking the will. creep wave with him. All right, never mind. Maybe a little bit more difficult. Bounty will take the first one. Mind Control's in a little bit too deep with the open wounds. Trying to outrun with Fly and Arteezy. Damn, he's tanky and they don't do a lot of damage until the poison stacks up. A quick disruption. Arteezy still wants the kill. Samel's so moving over. A torrent will send Mind Control up. He still grabs the bounty room, but he'll lose his life for it. Trying to get as much out of that as possible, but was not seeing that Lina coming. And now Lina might even be getting more. There's a connection down from Shadow Demon. This is a dead ogre. And catch him out right on top oh, of the Shrine off. to work with Fly. And well, Shrine is out. Arrow flies forward. A quick movement forward from Crit. Dodges it from GH. He'll jump in for the Starfall. And there is a lot of life on Ogre. Crit's now very low. GH up to work with him at the same time. You're able to find your own kill. Tinker underneath the tower, juking out Weeha. He's moving left and right around the tower to mail. He just wants one more hit. He can't reach. In fact, now it's Mirana TPing in. No mana for an arrow. He's trying to consume up with the clarity to get closer. Kuro's arrived as well, but Samel up the hill. It feels like, oh man, bottom lane, Samel actually hit the torrent timing. Miracle can't jump away, and Samel, four points up in tiebring is more than enough to crit through uh, Miracle. Kunkka will be farming it up later for sure. Working on a first item, Halberd, Samel, in this game. I thought maybe he'd go the Radiance build. He's going Halberd to minimize Void's impact. Oh, we have some trouble. X marked up. Even under the march of the machines, EG won't care. They'll send in the boat. Kuro and GH will arrive. We have the poison and the slave able to pick off him. Underneath the tower, my control, huge ravage. Connects over on four. A stampede. EG's can now jump break up in the corner. Miracle is arrived. Defensive disruption from Fly. They'll buy a little bit of time for Samel, but not enough. The softball from GH once again there. The support's find the kills. A quick anchor smash. No gush. Now it's only leveled up. Fly is slowing down. Time walks off cooldown. Three seconds time. The arrow. Looking to fly forward as well, but it's uh, all fly jumping in. Able to get the hit from Miracle. It's, it's hard times to fight when you don't have Chrono and the enemy. Oh, Miracle. Oh, he just used oh, he's his in time trouble. as well. Try and dilate them up, and maybe it's the sun change can be perfect. EG, they will claim. The kill on Miracle, and S4 jumping himself forward up the hill, and then in range of Kuros, Water Cast on, and the arrow, combining with the Ravage, the layer but the damage is still there, flying to Mail, being interrupted by that Ravage, and under the Moonlight Shadow, Liquid, want to keep moving forward, Crit, able to look for the stun, but he can't keep it in the target, because he can't see it. Meanwhile, Weeha gives the cover of the march to the machines. Everyone from Team Liquid is here. BKB. Now also arrived on Samel. Yeah, this really does feel like go time. The Observer Ward's nearby. Mind Control. They're actually playing Dozy Do around the Maypole and maybe Liquid. Well, here he is. Miracle. Let's get the Chrono off. No, they get the Hops off first. Hit with the Torrent. Miracle instantly dead. He can buy back and fight on top of the Shrine. But Koro, he's the next target. They've got enough damage to get through him. One after the other. EG finding Team Liquid players. Mind Control becomes the next one. Gets his feet wet with the Torrent. Fire Strike Array will also hold him. An X Mark will bring him back. Mind Control for all that tankiness. EG show they have the damage output required. So you imagine they want to fight once he gets it. And as far as, as, far as tanking his item of choice against Tinker, when this heart comes out, he has so much magical EHP with the pipe and what will probably be around three and a half thousand eight hit points when he finishes the heart. This could be quick. Great scout by Fly. Throws out the Shadow Poison. There's a double damage on Miracle. They've already taken one third of the life off the Tide Hunter. Miracle, he jumps up. He finds Crit. Already going for the quick bashes. And he actually calls the mail right on the edge of the Chronosphere. The bow will buy some space. The bash up. What the man is for? It's a three man hook stomp into the back line. Liquid is still trying to fight within the Moonlight Shadow. The Rabbit creating space from Mind Control. The Miracle is losing life so quickly. Samel and Arteezy just focus him down. They'll turn their attention towards Mind Control as he will also fall. They lose S4 in the back line's evil geniuses, but Crit, he's ready to fight again. He's gonna find Ogre. Ogre's gonna find him, however you look at it. And once again, oh, the sun is just off the mark, but the banishment will be there from Fly. GH will fall. Koro will go down to the one man standing as Weeha pushing out the side lanes.
We hust right in the trees with everybody else from Liquid. Who's jumping forward? It's quick to show himself. Life still already starting with the inf uh, with the, with the open wounds, but GH into the trees already. Oh, the miracle hex up already. The ravage, the mind control. It hits so huge. Over on three. It's actually maybe be enough with the boat. They don't take damage quick enough. Now Life Stealer will go down. They get through the heart. It's a fail. Caught by the Chronosphere. Esmol wants to help out, but what can he do? He'll have to jump after. You've actually got the Chrono down. Able to do so with the double S. Miracle. Time walk to Babel. He'll repair all the damage done. And my control, last Dragon Ray instantly broken up by the Kraken Shell. Liquid, not only have they taken these kills, maybe with Fly's TP up, yet it's still going to be a kill. You know Tinker can claim the bottom ones. Finally, the gem has been purchased. It was done by Fly. Miracle, time walks away. S4, blink, horse stomps forward. GH got one quick of a link, but crit. You'll get the follow-up stun. Even though my control is being a bit of a nuisance. He's cleaning up the creep wave behind it. This tier 2 that S4 is pushing right now is not a given right now. That is not a guaranteed tower take if Liquid smoke up in time. They could try to go for it. It looks like they're not interested in doing that. Oh, they don't have a smoke available. Kuro is coming up to get the vision advantage. Observe a sentry down. They can see a lot. Miracle. Two players underneath the tower. There's your first hex going out over on S4. Miracle is looking for the back line. Three of them inside the trees. Miracle found them. And he can't really stop it either. Arrowflies fall down. He can be out something else. He's already got the two supports down inside the jungle, and then mind control with the Ravage, controls up the course, the boat's coming in, but the damage from afar, maybe they have enough to break the Agency model, they actually do, but he'll be back to life in just a second. Same with a buyback from Kuro, and here comes Miracle, body block him up and time block up past easy. They tried to stampede themselves away, but it won't happen, Weeha just keeps moving forward, Artizi's rage will wear off in a second, the Hex is there, over on S4, he infests them up, the Sun's on the side, they can't help, S4 stand up with a long range arrow from GH, they just keep going, one to the next, Artizi, he'll have to try and turn and fight, he's 1v5 before, can he do it again, Samal wants to help him out, Artizi, is he big, is he bad, or is he dead, Miracle wants him, around the trees, looking for a time look with the gut, the armor will go down over the wounds. The torrent creates some space, but nowhere near enough. The buyback's there from S4, but now it's conquer. We keep the chase going. This began at the radiant base, and it may end at the dire. S4 jumps in the back line. He's able to get at least the pick up over on GH. The miracle still keeps going ham. S4 hangs up fly. Can't get the disruption off. So now he'll go down. He'll get it offensively, but that means he's dead to the world. Miracle jumps in. They're looking for the other guy. You forgot something. Hello? Fly <laughs> Once the trees, up you go. We he'll fight him, hex and blow him up with the rockets. Awesome fight from Liquid. That is just the Chrono. That is all on the amazing Chrono from Miracle, getting them that three-man Chrono in the start, two kills. They keep chasing down with their man advantage, and EG a little bit too patient maybe with their buybacks. The heroes that are arriving to help the others out always arrive right after the hero they're trying to save has died. And that creates this massive snowball for Liquid, where they're just keeping... Get, they actually just got bonus kills. That would have been better if EG bought back no heroes. Because they ended up just dying anyway. They bought back four heroes through that chase. Miracle looking for the mid-tier 3 tower. Already claiming the melee racks on top. Mind control. He's gone in deeper. The Chrono again! Able to catch out, Crit. Able to get fly. The support. This is the way Liquid begin their fights. They take him out, then jump down, protecting Weeha. He BKBs. He's actually glimmered away. They can't find him. Maybe they can. Samal can actually burn him down. But you've got the torrent. Little bit of space being created. Artizi and Samal once again have to work together. But Miracle, he is godlike looking for the quad. If he can jump in forward, yes, he can. Time lock, Artizi. They are back to oblivion. And GG, Team Liquid. Patience was a virtue heavily displayed in this series, but they win it 43 with 23 on the board for kills. Just a, honestly, a really nice strategic win from Liquid. <laughs> Very passionate EG fan. Life stealer. Okay. You can't stop the safe leaner from CSing. Your Iron Shell level 1 is even worse. And we've also got a level 1 Bounty Rune fight going out on S4. Kuro does so much damage after he got the spirit over three different heroes. Fly, he won't live through this. It's too much damage from Kuro. One more will do it. Up the hill it goes. Spirit and attack. Nothing will miss. This feels like he's just playing into Kuro's hands. He's going to pick up boots right now. And now, high, high movement speed ET against an aggressive tri lane with plus 43 damage. The timber chain forward, S4 getting the body block on GH with the slow kick as well from crit. GH is dropping low, but Stick Chance giving him his life back. He does have two Shadow Wars stacks on him, but he'll be okay through this. S4 has already fallen, and Kuro trapped in the tree lines. Revenge, it will be flies.
It's like they're trying to stop the Arctus as well from moving off the lane. Uh, Tempest definitely going to get up in Weeha's face. There's no doubt about that. Rolling Bolt. In fact, they're going to try and get up a little bit harder. Samael! Healy arrived with the Avalanche top combination. Kuro, low on life as well. Samael, he's got Tree in hand. And as Tiny will run under the tower, the Tree Toss, able to connect Crit. He's got Rolling Bolt in a second, but it won't matter. Whirling Death level one will kill off Kuro. 827 is his net worth. Nine and a half minutes in. Even having boots is difficult and my controls wondering like, should I just come back over here? They need to get bounties, EG. Miracle's gonna kill him. Too many runes again. Flies too far forward. Spirit jump in. You got support from Artezi, but I think he realizes he can't really help off. All they can do is buy a little bit of time for Samel to grab the rune, but just <laughs> just surged over Miracle. He wants to stand there and who's gonna get it? Actually, well, it was still Miracle who bolted up the bounty rune. Samael trying to toss him up for the spirits. Commit off from Miracle. He doesn't want to back off. Samael have no breathing room. Blind will arrive, but it's already done. Samael is dead. Mind control, Kuro, GH. Almost everybody is here apart from the Alchemist. And he doesn't need to be. Artizi picked up. Rage is available. He wants to invest into the Centaur. Able to do so. Pops back out again. Mind Control, they make a copy of him. That won't really help. Artizi, Rage TPs out to safety. Oh, flies in trouble again. Oh. I don't know where he is. Oh, this will be yet another death. That is five in total for the SD. Seven of the kills of Liquid are his. I think you have to go combat build. I don't think the Radiance build is going to work for this game. You're under way too much pressure, time wise. Ichi's having a nap under the tier one. GH is waiting for the denial. Extra TP's oh, coming in. S4 it. does get the last hit. GH still in trouble. Raging up, moving away. The avalanche and the splitter. EG's trying to move away. Fly! Snap back in again. He'll go down. GH trying to hide the tree lines. The spirit jumping forward from Miracle. He's found some L in the back. And then with the toss, at least some L has some distance. We has chasing him in the spirit. He's sandwiched in between We as well as Miracle. Finally, some L will fall. And maybe with the timber chain away, S4 can survive. We has low and live. Artizi, he won the kill. The rolling boulder. Kuro, he takes it for the team and then runs to the other side come and chase me the rest of my team will survive even if i die and now there's an aggressive move bottom they want to get the mind control darks here it's a pretty big kill and, and that's going to connect easily. great start from fred gh can't really do anything about this quick toss up and down you'll come back because you got him 828 gpm right now and no signs of any pressure being applied on him by eg anymore in the game well they've killed him once that's all they did that's easy, having his own little battle with Miracle. Weeha jumps in! It's a concussion! That's easy, wasn't ready for it. He's got Infested available. He's used it instantly. And maybe with the armor toggle, he'll buy some space. Fly's coming in too. The ET stop cancelled off here by Fly, thanks to the disruption. And does he have a path out of here? Life Stealer, he's hiding for the moment. And Weeha, he doesn't care. He'll dive under the T4, T T1 tower, taking out Fly. S4 is nearby, but where is RTZ? He's still inside the creep wave. He'll jump back out again. It's a great magnetizer from Fred. Mind Control having a hard time getting away. Disruption will be up. So is the ET splitter. Kuro's going to snap them all together with a back back in. EG unwillingly thrown into the canyon. And Miracle will willingly throw him back over towards S4 to try and kill him. We have already done the job on Samael. And Evil Geniuses, it's Fly who's the one to survive. Awesome stun from Kuro. He got three heroes. He set up for a very easy splitter for himself and then the vacuum right at the end when it's about to snap. Make sure they all get in nice positions and just get blown up. And this game right now, Toby, it's looking really, really bad for hey. EG. If you're an EG fan, you're worried right now. You know how I said Fly survived? Time. If you're Fly, you're also having a bad time. That's the dieback. He fought back in the fight just to come a little closer and then realize the fight was already done. Even underneath their own T1 tower in mid, EG can't claim it. And what does Weeha do? Start the farm. EG double TPs forward. And Weeha once again. Uh, TZ's home is the safest place to TP out. I'm honestly really surprised he went 4-4-0 here because I think with just one point in silence there, he can silence multiple heroes that are bound up by the magnetites. Maybe the outlook of that fight is completely different. Great concoction from Weeha. Just trying to stop uh, S4. Oh man, and how many stuns have they got? S4 just can't tip it to save his life. Samael, he wants to jump in as well. That's not the toss that he was really looking for. And now it's just Weeha, chemically raged up, beating into this Tiny. He can never blink away. Weeha, in fact, blinks himself forward. Tiny can cock it up too. And Weeha, a double kill for him. It's like EG are falling apart at the seams and... Well, Liquid happy to put it in. There's that purge going to work. Miracle under the tier two down side of fish. He dodges the rolling in from Crip, but he'll still end up going down. Crip will claim that kill, in fact. But here's your ET splitter once more. Now giving Weeha a triple kill. Crit, he'll jump away with the rolling ball to concoct it up, but there's no one that's gonna dive under that tier two tower. Not yet from Liquid. 
And that's rounding up. Oh, they want to fight mid. He's going to go in. Blink concoction. They start over on Crit. Flies nearby. Defensive destruction already going to begin. But Weeha still wants to battle into Arteezy. And here we go again with the stomp. The wall is down. Arteezy makes a copy of himself. Stop hitting yourself. As then the pull back. Crit can't get away. Miracle rejoins the fight against off a double kill. Searing Chain S4. Defensive Yule Scepter. He's got Chain available. But they've got the stomp perfectly timed from Koro. A triple kill for Miracle. An evil genius. Oh, so fast. There it is. <laughs> Oh. The real blood seeker. Here comes Liquid. In through the bottom. EG. This defense will be hard. The spirit vessel of the ES has to go to work. Just trying to stop Weeha's regeneration with a chemical rage up. But here comes Miracle. Agonim's buffed up. You got the BKB for protection. That's easy. Maybe they have some damage to kill off Miracle. The side of Fist will do some work, but he's still got one charge that's available too. S4 has to chain himself away to safety. Weeha, he's ready to blink. Concoction's up. And there's the double stun. Backwall combination. That's how you do it. Two heroes down. They'll buy back. The tier three tower has fallen. The team Liquid. Clinical. They will back up from this surgical attack onto the bottom lane. And EG just do not see the opportunity. It definitely isn't Weeha. Double slide of fist steering chain from Miracle. Just creating the space for Weeha. The spirit's out on top of them too. So Kuro can come up with some damage. A steering chain again. Timbersaw controlled this time around. That's easy. Going to rage and dodge the stop. But this is all cover fire. Multiple layers of protection as Weeha claims the lane of Rax with no answer from EG. At least his stomp. But Weeha's back in once again while the mid miracle is just following up the ES, hitting the back lines with Weeha under the tier 4 towers. No place is safe. S4 defensive Yule Scepter up again, but the concoction will connect, and Weeha has the double kill. No bike back for S4. Same for Fly. And that's easy, it's just wondering, what do I do? I'm beating my head against a wall. While Weeha is beating his blades against my tower. Now Miracle, back in again. Another Searing Chain. GH with a blink pickup. They've got some time. Buyback comes in from Arteezy. As the avalanche from Samael is just a nibble on the back of my control and we Here we go, concoction again. Oh, back up oh, together, finish it style. This game's over. There's no way EG can defend this. They've got no heroes. There is no more chances. Liquid, they win. 2-0 versus EG, eliminating them from the international and keeping this clean run through the lower bracket. Fnatic, TNT, RNG, and now EG. The the challenges get harder and harder, but Liquid, they had a weak start to the group stage. They recovered. They still had to start in the lower bracket. You wouldn't think so when you watch how they play. You would have thought this team started in the upper bracket, right? They're yeah, playing huh? really good Dota. Nope, they actually didn't, but they've picked up so much steam. They know exactly what they need to do in the game. They have a very clear game plan, very similar understanding of how Dota should be played right now. They really seem to have found the sweet spot in the meta. Horror pulling out.